Hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to cover the very basics of managing a work order in the Aptora mobile app. The first thing you need to do is create a work order. Here we have a work order for today assigned to Ashley Adams. The work order appears in the app here in the work order tab. Click on that and I have actually two work orders today. I will double click on the first one to open it. Now, depending on what your company wants you to do, you might click the in route button that creates a timesheet entry in Total Office Manager tracking travel time. And I will do that. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Done. Now I'm driving to this location. The address is here and I could click the address to open a map and get directions and so forth. At some point, you arrive, park your truck. When you're ready to approach the door, we recommend you click working. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. It asks you if you're sure a lot. It wants you to be sure of everything. Now, you're in the work order. You have all the information available to you that you could possibly need under the various tabs user-defined fields, equipment you're working on. The equipment is in red. The letters are red, rather, because it is on the so-called watch list. That means there has been a history of problems with this particular furnace, and somebody wants us to keep a watch on it. As I mentioned, you can see the equipment. You can go into the equipment's history. Click the little eyeball icon that takes you into the customer's equipment. You can see details such as when it was installed. You have the ability to view documents, images, upload the same, see warranty information, yours, manufacturers, notes, pictures, user-defined fields. You could go to the hamburger menu and edit this information or continue to explore more information about the equipment, such as the history, the sales history behind that equipment. Clicking sales history shows you a list of every single part that was ever installed in this furnace. You'll be able to see the warranty status of those parts. It doesn't matter who owned that furnace. You will see all of the owners and all of the sales work order or service agreement activity behind that equipment. Hit the back button twice. That should take me back to the work order. So that is the basics of getting into a work order. In other videos, we will cover how to do specific things. I'm going to double click to get back in here. Now, when I'm finished with a work order, I would click the stop button. And it asks, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Now, it's important to explain this. Do you want to stop the current timesheet? Well, yes, I do. Do you want to mark the work order as complete? You may not want to work, mark it as complete at this moment because we may still want to create an invoice. Those are things that your company is going to want to talk about. In the commercial environment, we may not create an invoice. We may stop at the work order. So we want to stop our timesheet and complete the work order. In a residential situation, we might want to create an invoice. Now I'm going to click no and explain that a little further. From here, we might create an invoice. I would leave the work order opened and I would leave my so-called stopwatch, that's the timesheet entry, running. Once the invoice is complete, then we would go ahead and complete the work order and close out the timesheet entry. Let's go ahead and click invoice, click create invoice. Market is complete? No, I don't want to. Do I want to include the items that were on the work order? Yes, you generally would. You typically put your items on the work order, all your notes go in the work order, and then you create an invoice and collect payment. Click yes. Now the work order is left behind. It's still there, but it basically makes an exact copy of that work order and turns it into an invoice 
from here, I would collect on the invoice if it's possible. Otherwise, if we cannot collect, we might be finished. I'll click the home button. We're back home. We are ready to go after our second work order. But notice there's still two because we have an open work order. Since we have finished that work order, we are going to need to deal with this work order before we are allowed to move on and take another work order. I will click that. Click the stop button. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. But also complete work order is checked. That's what I want. I want to mark that work order as completed and click yes. And we are finished with that work order. I will go back home. I have one work order left. I'll click on that work order and start the process all over again. There's a lot of things we could have covered. Keep in mind, specific things are covered in other videos. We do that to keep these short. I hope it was helpful. I'll see you in the next one.